Hello, I am Ray Messina. I've just completed the front end boot camp at New Camp, and this is my Graduate with Honors project, Cupboard. I was inspired to build Cupboard after noticing that, as a response to the COVID pandemic, a number of homes around my city had put up food pantries in their front yard to help the less fortunate. Cupboard is a website with the goal of assisting the logistics of small personal food pantries by providing a platform to communicate their inventories, request items, post schedules and announcements, etc. I built Cupboard using technologies such as React, React Strap, Redux, and utilizing APIs such as Google Maps and Sipopotamus for use in form autocomplete. Let's take a tour. We're here at the home page where we have essentially the branding information, all of which is pulled from a central data file. Actually, all the information in my site is pulled from a central data file. So rather than changing the text in a component, I will just change the data here in one of these data.js files. We have a find page which helps visitors locate a cupboard in their location. Let's do a zip code. Nine. The form auto completes when you type a zip code. If you don't feel like typing the whole thing, you can search. You can see a cupboard in action over here, which contains a customizable image, a button that lets you share this to your choice of local social media. Um, your basic information, such as your address and hours and the available items in your inventory, as well as items that you're requesting for people to donate. Uh, you can post announcements, and there's a Google map to your location to make uh, finding you easy. Of course, you have a form to create an account. And you also have a login page. I created a sample account so I can show you what the dashboard looks like. So once you are a member and you have your fully running cupboard, you can keep a running list of your inventory. So if you don't no longer want to offer five versions of item one, you can delete your items. You can add a new item instead. Accounts. By clicking on request, this item gets added to your requested items so that it gets listed as something you want people to donate. Uh, you can post or delete announcements. And of course, you can change your hours over here. This was one of my, uh, I'm about to show you, but this was one of my biggest challenges because the form itself was rather complex having uh, arbitrary number of elements. As you can see, I can add items, so I can't just simply make a component per items. This is dynamically generated. And the other thing is that it had to update the map in the footer component, which is a component separate from the form component. So I had to communicate the state of the form component to the footer component to display the map. By the way, let's see that in action over here. So what if we use 99 Liberty Pool? And we can tell that when we update the cupboard and it goes to the database, the map gets updated. I accomplished this actually first by using Redux, but then I decided that the simpler solution was to lift up the state. And if you look at my, if you take a look at the form component here for the page, you can see that I passed an update footer function, which essentially ties the state of the form to the footer. This is a work in progress, and I look forward to being able to hook up this to a proper database in the next bootcamp. I thank you for taking the time for viewing my presentation and look forward to your feedback.